OTAN, Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. Okay, we're Clovis Adult Education. Um, specifically, we're part of the Career and Technical Education Health Careers Department. And so we are part of Clovis Unified School District um, just outside Fresno, California. Um, our team, we are coached by uh, Yesenia Delgado. Um, we also have our Director of Nursing, Chuni McMahon. I'm Hana, and I'm a CTE nursing instructor. Um, and this is our new team member, Amalia. She's also a CTE nursing instructor. Um, we did have Elaine Sims, who is our department chair and our assistant nursing director, but she had to step back. Um, but she'll be a big part of everything. She kind of has already done a lot of our execution. Um, and so we were able to bring in another instructor to kind of give a really, really fresh perspective. So our department is Career and Technical Education Health Careers. We also have a business section that is um, slightly separate from us. Um, we serve approximately 1,100 students annually um, here in Clovis, California, and provide our community with courses in nursing assistance, home health aid, CNA continuing education, VN prerequisite classes, vocational nursing, which is our big um, department, CPR, and we also do IV certification. Um, and so we kind of, as instructors, can kind of jump around all these different classes. Um, and our vocational nursing program runs a new cohort twice a year. And sometimes during the year, we will be running four cohorts consecutively. So at certain times of the year, we can be stretched a little thin. Um, all our programs are accredited by uh, COE, the Council on Occupational Education, WASC, and our state board for licensure. And so for us specifically, it's the BVNPT, Board of Vocational Nurses and Psychiatric Technicians. So I'm gonna just share with you how our uh, online and um, technology began back in 2017 um, when I happened to accidentally uh, attended one of the old time uh, <laughs> seminar, and that was an eye opening experience. So, I want to share with you at that time, uh, Mickey Obermeyer invited me, and I was teaching nursing students with a pen and pencil and scanning all the documents. And the, not only scanning, but those documents were printed over and over. It was just like unreasonable. And I thought, what the heck is going on here? And then we are in a world the technology. We're still stuck in the pen and pencil and copy. The copy machine they were copying was, it was mountain size. At that time, California had a lot of fire going on. And you have seen it, trees burning down. <laughs> so when I started sending out the teachers, that why we wanted to get on Moodle. And I use that. It's like we burning down all these trees. Now we it's time to save our trees. So by going on online, we're not going to use the paper anymore. So that's how I convinced. So this is all it started by myself. I had no inspiring person <laughs> or no teacher share any information. And I was a very brand new nurse who never taught nobody except the Sunday school for 18 years. <laughs> so director recognized me. There is a burning desire to change things. So I guess we were learning about the strength and weakness. And I was very good executor, but not a good person to retain whatever execute I did. I needed the support, obviously, right? So. <laughs> But I don't know, this happened just before pandemic. So I want to share this, how it happens. 2019 and Clovis Adult Nursing Education Department has Moodle, which before Moodle, what I did it is, I have no computer technology. I don't know how to create a website. And my son is computer, I call him geek. And I called him, can you help me to create the website? 
And so I had no clue how he does, but I gave a content what need to be in that website. That's how I began. So I am the only teacher use the website and no other teacher was still using it. But when I found out at OTAN, I know we have a free access to Moodle. So wow, I'm gonna practice using Moodle and then I'm gonna move a Moodle just spread to all other teachers because they're all going to be in a one place. That's how we started Moodle. 2017 to all the way, about five years, and we trained all these teachers. I mean, we trained. I'm, I'm talking about I train every individual who's coming in, and I kind, can I, can I put you in a Moodle? So I take over their class and putting it, started putting in Moodle, into Moodle, and then, and I tested it out, I could test our students um, online because they were still taking paper and pencil. We had to go to a scan to a machine and we had to scan to correct and grade it. Uh, and then we have to post it individually. That went on until we used the Moodle. So in the Moodle and pretty much about a year, we all the instructors material I'm talking about 89, it's, uh, Marjorie is not here. 89 courses entered into Moodle site. We are the top user in the Moodle. So every, in each class I created until these young educators come along and now they took over and they just managing all that. Before that, and my philosophy was, well, I didn't know anything. I need to ask my son to create this. So he was generous about and supporting my goal. So I thanked him and because I couldn't, I couldn't find anybody to go in our school district. So I was very grateful. So I decided myself, well, these people have no clue, no exposure, nobody to practice. So maybe I am the one and sh should be a, a go for uh, resources. So I, I decide, um, I actually propose out, at that time I wasn't director and I was as a teacher and I approached to our um, director that I'm the one just manage all this model and you just support me whatever I need and you ask, uh, you help me to build this thing going. So um, we didn't have a, the nursing department did not have no computer lab. Academic had a, some uh, computer, and I know K to 12 school, they all had a, some computer room, but we didn't have it. So when they, have, when they said that they have some grant money, very first thing I said, I want 35 computer mm -hmm. and that in the lab. Guess what happened? Actually, they said, we have money and how many computer you want, and we had, I request 30 computer, and there we go and they gave me 35 because of some, the reason we did a 30, 35 magic number is we enrolled at that time each coho LBM program, 33 students, a three hour extra, but it was 30 was the maximum, but always a three because there's always some people fail, right? So that's the beginning of a computer. So I started doing all my courses, testing on the computer. And everybody's seen, I never use, I never sit there and scoring anything, it's, it's all automated. And then it was posting in uh, Moodle. So now they all de using that way. And then I helped every individual teachers, their question bank into Moodle. So eventually all those courses move into Moodle. Now when, when the pandemic happened, what happened is I've got everything in the, Moodle, and actually, I did not have to have students in the classroom to give those hand syllabus, handout, or lesson plans because it was posted. So our school, adult education, in the nursing program never closed during the pandemic. You know why? Because it was already in there. When we were panicking, oh, what are we going to do? I remember that. We, we had an OTAN meeting right up here that, that 2000, I believe 20 in March, and we had a meeting, and that weekend, when I went back to school, 
if we might close down. We might, right? Exactly two weeks later, they closed. Guess what? I said, give me an over the weekend, because I'm going to come up with a way to bring the students in. And I just come up. I actually remembered going into Zoom meeting. So I utilized Zoom meeting, practice with my family. So we're going to have a Zoom meeting. OK, <laughs> my son, my daughter, and they all joined. And so, oh, this is working. And so I, we're going to use a Zoom and to collect the students. And then my daughter, which is Hannah, she, she, so we use, I use, I come up and, uh, I come up on Zoom, and I want her to talk about the Discord, which I had no clue. So she <laughs> wants to utilize that because there is some benefits, and I had to learn how to get in. So how you use the Discord? So is anybody familiar with Discord? Yeah. Some people? Okay. So my feeling at the beginning of the pandemic it was that it was going to be very isolating for the students because Zoom pops up, and then it goes away. We don't have a permanent classroom. And while we had Moodle, it was just kind of a dumping ground, right? Assignments, whatever. I wanted a sense of community for the students. And so Discord is a permanent server where students can gather, they can voice chat, they can private message, they don't have to exchange phone numbers. Um, they can video chat, we can group video chat. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I can share images, all that kind of stuff. And so we utilized it early in the pandemic for my classes. Um, I just happened to be hired right before the pandemic um, and they utilized me a lot just for my different knowledge of tech that was available. Discord, um, I, recently it's in the news a lot for um, gaming stuff and the legitimacy, but a lot of gamers use it to create community. A lot of subcultures use it to create community and so I wanted to do that for our students and we actually have a cohort that I just started in January that made one on their own and that's where they gather as a cohort, kind of like a Facebook group, I guess maybe that's the original inception where they can share their notes and, oh, do you remember we have this, you know, check in with each other, send reminders to each other without being in our Canvas classroom where, you know, you got the oversight of the teacher. Remember, actually you are teaching medical nurses, it's not what you're teaching English as a second language. We have to show them how to do things, demonstrate them. And we ask them to demonstrate back to them. And you should see the creativity that we applied. It was amazing. You can tell why I recruited my daughter. <laughs> I was uh, working with my director, 82 years old. My teacher, oldest one, is 76 years old. And then the, my, the rest of retired Nurses, they don't want to work in the uh, clinical side, and they decide to teach. So you could tell what kind of challenge I had to face. They were scared of using computer. They make me to stand by every single courses. When they have to open Zoom, I have to troubleshoot because that's what I did. I opened the Zoom, the teachers would stand, and they lecture, just like classroom. And then I close it, and the students could not get in. I'm the running around, and I put them in. They call me in my office. I try to get in, nobody coming. I put it in. So I just want to let you know how uh, just kind of struggle that I had to go through to making some of the young generation to join. And I'm very glad that I did it because I actually dragged them into OTAN because they said it's not their thing. <laughs> but I can do it by myself because it has the sign up for um, bunch. So I just want to just say, all eventually uh, Clovis nursing instructors all trained, all trained the Moodle. And then we eventually had to transition to Moodle to Canvas. Guess what? I almost had a panic attack because I remember I spent 24 hours every single weekend sitting and setting up all that Moodle. 85 class, 89 class, I could not imagine to moving that class into Canvas. But I'm going to tell you, it, this happened because all these Moodle to Canvas transition were 
transfer over 89 nursing courses. In this process, a digital classroom, online test, supporting instructional material, and grading system had to be individually updated by instructor, which these young generation <laughs> teachers came and helped made a smooth transition. OTAN was pivotal in providing early education and supporting to our staff through this transition that took place in August 2022, so barely not even a year ago. And Ideal 101 has helped to give us agency some great structure to our goals, because I did it by myself, but the goal with the team, it was really great. By keeping us on track when it comes to time management and goal achievement, and we had a, some clear goal and, and timeline now to execute execution, and that may not have been so timely due to time constraints and challenges. We have had abstract thoughts about uh, what we want to see in our uh, transition to Canvas from Moodle and then fully going paperless uh, for Ideal 101 has helped us to center our ide ideas and bring them into clarity. Our goal is for all our nursing instructors to be able to use Canvas and other technology resources to its full and potential and with some continuity, continu continuity between our classes. Addi in additionally, we would like to bridge the gap for our instructors, getting them all on more level field and when it comes to interacting and utilizing technology. And our biggest accomplishment today is getting all class into Canvas with the minimal issues, and then additional th uh, through the work of uh, uh, Elaine, and we have created all things Canvas classrooms, uh, resource so are posted actually on the Canvas. So you don't have to have a face-to-face, -face, and it's there and then between Elaine and I could support. And then um, skills that we have refined during the training session have been to be lean on our strength and individual labor of a uh, project accordingly. So I want to have a... Okay, so she went ahead, but we're going to go back. Um, so kind of she did all the preliminary stuff that set us up to where we were. Um, so everything was set up into Moodle. I came in in 2019 as an instructor, um, and I was the first instructor to convert over to Canvas. So I was the first class. We kind of did like a rolling start um, in August of 2022. I used Canvas as a student. I used Moodle as a student. I also used Blackboard as a student. So I have a unique vantage point because I came into college using technology. Um, so for me, I just have a different perspective than a lot of the teachers. Um, and so for me, I um, participated in some of the trainings, but for me, I found that just doing, having a vision in my head, this is what I want to do, and then seeking it out and building it worked better for me personally. Um, Amalia can share a little bit about her perspective. She came in after me, and she actually took over one of my classes. So um, she also has a different vantage point as well. Hello. Yes, so I was at an advantage as well because I used Canvas in my college courses. Um, it was very easy to learn um, from switching from a student perspective to a teaching perspective. And that was because I had access to um, people who had used it in that perspective. And then also, the resources like the All Things Canvas that I can refer to if I am looking for something in particular. But I think fresh is a great word. Um, I am young in age, but I am not a young nurse. I have been a nurse almost 10 years. So um, a very modern view or a modern take on nursing, right? Um, as she said, some of the instructors are a little bit older than I am, um, so I bring that modern perspective and can help troubleshoot a lot easier than they can. And um, I don't accept anything, oops, sorry, 
I don't accept anything on paper. Everything is online. So while they can print if they would like to and handwrite, I would like them to upload it in a PDF file because I just don't have the time, honestly. Um, and it makes it so much easier to grade when I can just hit complete, complete, complete. And that's pretty much it. Okay. So just to finish, the our learners are our instructors. It's slightly different. Um, the Canvas classroom, that's already gone live. So now for the future, for this next year, our plan is to complete forms to kind of help guide our instructors with a little bit more structure. Um, we do need some more support from um, OTAN in terms of training. Um, and we just want to kind of continue to grow and develop our capabilities and really even the playing field because you have two instructors that are probably the most strong of everybody. Um, and so we want to bring everybody up to that level and everybody that we bring in, we want to keep at that level. So, that's it. Thank you.